Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can tell, I've got all of my PC parts. So yeah, let's get into building it. I'm so excited, I need to take everything off my desk first though. I think, yeah, um, not everything. Um, I did that cable management video <laughs> not that long ago, whatever, and a lot of it's just gonna have to be changed, which is annoying. But, but yeah, so I don't think this video is going to be the best of quality because I'm just so excited. So, I'm going to get out my iPad and just start the tutorial on how to build it. I know you need the motherboard first. I'm so excited. Need is a screwdriver. I have nice my screwdriver. I've had this since Windows Very good. Series 9. What is everything that you need for the motherboard? Well, you need the mm -hmm. actual motherboard. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You actually need the thing that you put it all in. You need the CPU. And then finally, you need the M.2 drive, which we have right here. I don't you have an M.2. The cooler, which is right here. There's your cooler. The cooler. You, you start cooler. The lamp. I do not have an M.2 SSD. I have a normal SSD. Out of the case. Two things you have to go and put those. So make sure that you keep this. You will need this on hand for when you're building. These little things right here that you're looking at, these are M.2 screws. I don't need the M.2 screws, mate. So please make sure you do not throw these away. You will not get these in the other place. And these are little easy things to freaking lose. This right here. IO shield, Some okay. Awesome uh, this one okay, this is plugging your hard drive and SSD. I'm gonna need so that later. Book. Hopefully you don't want to touch the top, try and touch the sides. I've got it. Uh, this is the uh, this is the IHS or the heat spreader for your CPU. And then on the back, you can see all these golden pens. Don't touch the golden pens. Even though they're shiny, you don't want to touch them. That would be bad. Now, when you're looking at the CPU, you see this little blue arrow right here. That you want to line up with the other arrow that is on the motherboard, which is right here. So that little gold arrow okay. goes to the same place as this little arrow right here. Now, when you're going to install the CPU, you see this little arm right here. You're just going to kind of push it off to the side and then lift up. That's going to release the pins right here. Now, remember we talked about that little arrow? Again, that little arrow. In the corner, you're going to basically align with the little arrow here, and it slips right in. And you can just kind of jiggle it. You can see that it's in there nice and good. And finally, you're just going to push this down like so, a little bit of pressure, and then slip it under like that. So let's talk about the RAM here real quick. So this is, the, this is basically the RAM. Uh, when you install the RAM in, you can see in the PCB this little I did it. You want to align this I did it. With the little notch that you see right here. For the I, I mean, I don't know whether it is broken, but <laughs> I don't think I've broken it. I hope I haven't broken it. Oh, I need to give you a sticker. All you're going to do is push down, apply pressure on both sides, get a nice clean snap in. Make sure that you see that snap like so. There's one. The second one. Same. Put it in. Push it down, make sure it goes all the way in, clips it. There you go, RAM is in. Okay. Almost forgot. Oh wait, no, it's second and third. I mean, second and fourth. The AMD heatsink so in the Wraith cooler them. is not a clip-on type heatsink. For some reason it stopped recording, I don't know when it stopped recording, but I've just taken out one of the brackets. I'm just going to keep checking the camera now to make sure it hasn't stopped recording again. But I'm just taking out the brackets. Here we are. I'll just put I'll put this back in the motherboard box. 
Okay, so it goes on this way. Okay, now that's in properly. Now I just need to plug it in. Okay, put this somewhere else I guess. Now we have the case. To put this somewhere safe. So I have a bunch of fans inside of it. What's this? That's just my shipping stuff. Right, so it came with four fans. It told me it was only from three. But I would have needed to buy another one anyway, because I have three in the front and then one in the back. Um, so I'd have to buy another one, because I sort of forgot. But it came with four, so I'm happy about that. Obviously. I need to make sure the standoffs are in the right place. Um, okay, I need more standoffs. Go away. Go done. away. Go away. Go away. Have a look how much you've done. Go away. I've done the motherboard. Uh, no, go away. Get out of my room. <laughs> go away. Out. Have you been sat outside yeah, no, the room the whole time? Yeah, yeah. How do you take out standoffs? I don't know how long I haven't been filming for, but it's my, um, my storage in my SD card ran out. So my USB free is down here, so... Okay, that's my USB 3 in. So it was at this point that the second SD card I'd put in my camera had run out of storage because it was only a 2 gigabyte one. And I was too excited to build my computer to bother to clean some of the storage off the SD cards and that um, so I could keep filming. So I just sort of got on with it. But I suppose you didn't miss too much.
Um, it's quite a lot. Um, so you saw the motherboard, you saw me install it to the case. It wasn't meant to be a tutorial anyway, but it's just sort of meant to be like, you know, I built my PC. Watch me do it. But um, you missed the power supply, the hard drive, the SSD, and the fans. Um, so when I first tried to turn it on, it didn't turn on, um, which was a problem. But the one thing I wasn't sure of, because it looked completely different to what it was in the video, and I struggled to find where it was, was the front panel connectors on the case. Um, so I checked that, and I unplugged it all, and it turns out I'd moved the power connector one pin too far across. So when I plugged it all back in, it turned on. And, because, and I hadn't put the side panels back on, and I don't have a modular power supply, so there's a bunch of unneeded cables. And when it finally turned on, I got too excited, plugged the USB stick in with Windows, started installing it for like ages just with a bunch of cables hanging out um, going down to the side of my desk because um, the unneeded cables were just sort of there <laughs> um, but then I did put those side panels on eventually and when we got it working and started installing I filmed a video on my phone so I will need to transfer that onto my PC and it will be after this so yeah oh like we had it on and it wasn't turning on like, I got my stepbrother to help me it wasn't turning on and I unplugged these and plugged them, the front panel connectors and plugged them back in and now it's all on and I've got it installed in Windows. So yeah, I still need to, I just sort of got excited when it turned on and I haven't put on the, pack pan, the front panel, the side one, because I got excited when we finally got it working. <laughs> well, not finally, but like, we try to figure out what's wrong with it and I just unplugged these because I, because I wasn't too sure what I was doing with the, these. So I wasn't too sure what I was doing with them, and then I unplugged it and moved. I I plugged it in one too far across. I plugged it back in, turned it on, and it's all on fine now. So yeah, I need to put everything back. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully I'll be doing some gaming videos with this PC. Um, Minecraft Story Mode got discontinued ages ago, but you can still get it on PC. So what I might do is I'm going to download it on my PC, and I might just do full gameplay like I did with that Planet Coaster game, except I haven't actually finished playing that Planet Coaster game. I did a part one, never did a part two. Except for when I do a part two, it'll be so much better because um, I was just streaming, plug my webcam into my Xbox, stream into Twitch, and then screen recording it on my phone. But what I bought like in August on my birthday, what I bought it because I thought I was going to be building a PC way sooner than I did. I bought myself. This is not the thing. Hey. capture card for my xbox so my xbox plugs into here so this cable will go in there and then this bit will go into the uh, back of my xbox then on this side we have a output so that will go to up to my monitor and then we have the usb which goes into the usb and then the other end which goes into my computer and then I'll call it with OBS. But till I do anything like that, what I'm doing is I'm waiting till next week when my little brother isn't here. And then I might ask my mum if I can use his little TV in my room as a second monitor for my PC. So that I can have my OBS on that screen and then whatever I'm doing on there. So yeah.